Arms open, left foot out for gathering. Sean Colpitz is getting stronger. Step by step. Feels okay. Both physically C1 and mentally. C3. Mm -hmm. It's a true head to toe rehabilitation process here. Recovering from injuries that nearly killed him. I can remember uh, reaching for the line to climb back out and somebody yelled rock from above me. During a mission to recover human remains found near Mason County's Steel Bridge in August of 2020, suffered head, chest, and leg injuries in a rock fall. A Navy helicopter had to lift him out of the 400 foot deep Skokomish River Valley. It's nice to be able to give closure to those families. But at what cost? I'm probably gonna end up losing my career over it. <laughs> Nearly two years later, he's still rehabbing. Six. Washington, where those who suffer brain injuries on the job get one-on-one -on -one therapy with the hopes they can return to work. I have visual problems. I have some memory, cognitive issues. Glasses right now. Culpitz fears he will not be medically cleared to return to work, and he does not want to be a liability. After spending nearly 15 years serving Mason County, he's not sure what he'll do next. I really like helping people. And even being in the military and I just like working with people. For now, he's working on himself. Colpitz has a family and wants to keep improving for them. Shay Shay. Shay Shay. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. Thank you. We want to get back to breaking news, taking another look live.